Hello there, it's Michelle the Stamp Breaker and I am back with another Tool Time Tuesday. It's a hop that some of my friends and I do each month talking about a new a different tool every month maybe one that we need to brush off the dust and and use it so this month we are talking about metal dies and let's see if I can straighten this up just a little bit um, okay so what I have in front of me here and I, <laughs> I keep trying to straighten it okay are um, my box of metal dies. Now these are the standalone ones that don't have a stamp set. There is one in here that has a stamp set that matches like from Close to My Heart. But, and I don't remember how I bought this box other than I might've bought it off of Amazon, but it's pretty sturdy. I had to put it together. Um, I kind of like some screws. It has some dividers if you see. So what I have done is I have put these in by category and in the front are mostly word word dies. So one time I got um some word dies from Peachy Cheap. Oh, let me show you. And originally I had them in like a flip through book and I put them on these little strips of magnet that I already had and then I um went ahead and die cut the words so that I could read them because some of them aren't really easy to read. So then I just transferred in into these, these are four by six page protectors. And let me see if I can find, I got them. So it was at Walmart one day in the photo section and I came across, that's not it came across, maybe I have it down in here. I'm sorry, this is making noise. And these are my stamp and die storage pouches from Linko. They're 5.75 times seven and a half. Put those down. Okay, here we go, I gotta open it up, I'm so sorry. So here are the Walmart 10 pack of four by six photo pages. And they were like a dollar for a package of 10, I believe. Yeah, 10. So what I've basically done is I have used what I have. Okay, so Close to My Heart has a lot. Their, their metal dies uh, called Thin Cuts. They come already on magnetic sheets. And this is an example of one that's rounded corner. Um, and so I already had these, but what I did is, um, I have kind of recategorized, like this is all Christmas, except I think that says hello. Okay. And then here's some banner ones and celebrate. Thanks, hugs, love. Sometimes they're on the back too, but mostly not. So what I did is I just took them out of the little plastic that they come in and I put them in these, right? So when I need a word die, I can just come straight to this section. Um, let me get that back in there. So I think originally I had, yeah, I had mine in um, like a six by eight album. That's what it was. And so it had four by six pockets, but it quickly got too heavy and cumbersome, hard to get off the shelf. You know, as you, as your die collection grows, you kind of have to sometimes adjust how you um, store them. Here is another size that Close to My Heart has. It's more like a six by six size. And I added a couple of other Christmas stamps and a tree. And that was from Echo Park. Okay, then we move into snowflakes. And um, this one I've kept in the plastic that it came in. I haven't even used it yet. When I use it, 
I will snip this off so it is easier to slide in and out. In fact, I'll just do it right now. Um, so some of my dies are stored in these little plastic pockets and they're, you know, they're pretty cheap, but I've never had one tear and, um, and it, so it works, right? So only had, I think there was only two packages of these Walmart four by six photo pages. So I only got 20 of them. Um, and so mostly up here are shapes, like here's a rainbow and clouds. Here's a stamp set from Jelly Bean Soup. I got it from, oh, and here's, I went ahead and I stored the stamp with it, but this was for a peachy cheap deal. And then I have some bows. These are from Close to My Heart, but these are also from Peachy Cheap. Okay, and then I have more trees. And this one doesn't even have right now a magnetic thing, but that's okay, it's in a pocket. And then this are, these are all of my um, pet ones and I've recently gotten a few new ones from Amazon. And so I've just left them as I received them. And then here's something I did. Um, I had these old, they're like business card mag magnets to put on the back of a business card, you know, like if you're handing them out to people. And so I just, slipped my dies onto there and I'm they are adhesive back so I probably will go back and put them on a piece of um paper cardstock okay let's see and then I have some deer um and then these right here are these are all new ones and I have not taken them out of the package. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with them cause like there's deer and there's foliage and leaves and here's like wreath looking ones and here's a bicycle with thank you. So some of them are um, objects but some are um, sentiments and here's a travel one and another travel one. So right now they're just back here together. Um, this is one that actually goes with the stamp set and I pulled it out because it's so usable that I stuck it in here. Um, and then I have these Tim Holtz ones and I decided to keep them like this right now. I'm still trying to figure out how to use these. Okay, and then we get into shapes. So I have circles, circles, and some are front and back, like circles, circles. Um, this morning I cut this out of pink, and so I just put the, I cut like a three inch by 12 inch strip of cardstock, cause I didn't have, I couldn't find my scraps. So anyway, I just went ahead and cut three extra of the pink. Um, and sometimes they actually go in my color drawers, but today they went with the dyes. And then, and all of these, um, copper colored ones, what brand are they? Spellbinders. When my husband got me my first cuddle bug for Christmas years ago, he must have gotten a really good sell on all these dyes. He gave me a bunch of nested dyes, ovals, circles, um, and then I go into hearts. These are for shaker pockets, but you can use them for other things. And then here's stars, and then a couple of, like a banner and a, I don't know what that is, a clipboard. Uh, more stars from Echo Park. Then we go into hexagons. And then, um, I think I got this at um, Tuesday morning. And then we have brackets squares, bracket rectangles. This one's really nice. I really like that one. Um, and then we have some of these. And then I have my square ones. And see how they're in this the envelope, but I've just slipped, cut off the top. And then I have these, postage stamp, and then a rectangle. And then here's some background ones. Um, 
that I put together. They're all like card size. And here's my new envelope flap ones. And here is the memory decks one in the back. And then we go into tags. So I've got tags, tags and tabs from close to my heart. More tags, more tags, and a book plate. And then I have this from old school, and I don't know if it'll work in my current die cutting machine. Um, and I have this stamp set because it matches up with these um, dies. And as you can see, this is an even bigger piece of um, magnet. So I have those together so I don't forget to use them. Then I've got floral, 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 mostly floral, floral, and then here's um, like a slimline one. I put it in there because it fits mostly in that uh, size. I've got more floral with a few extra cut out leaves. And then we get kind of into borders. So I've got like these Christmas ones and some of these. And this was actually um, this width and I cut it in half and then I just folded it over. Um, and then I have more borders. I have these funky squares and then I have some craft shape ones. My biggest one right here is this doily. It's two doilies here, and um, it's too wide. I mean, I really could cut it, but I just slip it right here, and it fits fine. Um, I do have this little envelope one I need to find a home for. Right now, it's just sitting in the front. Um, so, let me, I'll show you the back in just a minute. So, there's all of those, and then... Um, I also have some of my dies stored with the stamp sets that they coordinate with. Like this one, where the blue outline is, that is the shape. So none of these really would work without the stamp, except maybe the speech bubble. Um, so they're just stored in here. The stamp set is here, and then the metal die is here. Okay, so I have those. Um, in the process of um, categorizing all of mine in Evernote, and so if it has a yellow sticker, it means that it is in there, because I get confused what I have and haven't done. Here's another one that really would only work with the stamp set. Here's one. Now this one, actually, I could do the balloon anytime. Um, and this one I could do, that's a really nice, um, this is a really nice shape here. And then there's a heart and a star and banners. So I have thought about pulling these and putting them over here and then maybe putting, um, a label that says it goes with this particular stamp set. Thought about that. Um, and I don't always buy the stamp sets with the thin cuts. Um, here's another one, the blue. The blue means it has a thin cut. Um, and then I put a sticker in here to show the last time I used it. Okay, last year. And this is, this is great. It's got a lot of shapes. Um, so mostly these are stored with my stamp sets, or they are. Um, this one, this one, this one. And that one, that would make a great journaling thing. And then I have a Christmas one. And then this one, this is the only shape. So I, pull, I really ought to pull it out. And I think it's on the same size magnet as that little envelope. Yeah. So I could definitely do that. And look, it, they did label that one. Um, sweet as honey. It doesn't have the Z4403, but so I'll probably wait and not move it yet. Here's a birthday one. Here is um, a 
fall in. So if you see, there's just um, four here in my hand that haven't been done to Evernote. I'm trying to as I get new stamp sets to do that, but then I have all the other ones to go back to. Um, here are some brand new ones that I have. So the blue means there's an outline. So that's a great shape too, not even just for that stamp set. And then these are specific to those stamps. And then this is super cute, the little hat, which it really needs the stamp set to make it. So you have this outline and the stitches. So, so I don't know, let me know what you think. Should I separate these out? and put the dies in here? Should I only put the dies in here that are with standalone or should I keep them all with the stamp sets? I don't know. Okay, so back to here. Now also I have all of my embossing folders. I have a couple of like slim ones that are like outdoorsy. And then I have Paper Studio and Cuddlebug, all of these smaller size. And then the Close My Heart ones come in a bigger size. So I have them here. They're like more of a five by seven. And then, let's see. And then back here, I have a small stencil one of heart, um, butterflies and then I have an embossing folder with a stencil it's a Christmas one all right so I think that's all my embossing folders and okay the, whoops I did not mean to move the camera and then I have a couple of three pack of card front stencils I've just kept them in their plastic I have a circle diffuser Um, and then I get into just stencils. So I took them out of the package, except I didn't take out the Vicky Booten ones. And then I even have this old one that was used for painting. But I figured it'd still work, right? And then a couple of sheets of cardstock. I don't really know why, because my new die cutting machine does not have to have any shins. Um, I have a bunch of extra white things that I've die cut and, and, and or embossed. So I just keep that back there. And then here are some packaging and I just need to throw them away, but I haven't. Um, I just store all this in the back. Okay. Now, let me show you how I store my um, my alphabet dies. Let me scoot that out of the way. Well, I actually have one more stencil. This is a brand new one that goes with Dream Maker, and it's really like four six by sixes. And I think I'm gonna cut it up so it'll fit in here, but I haven't decided yet. Is that what you would do? What would you do? I think so because it's the only 12 by 12 I have. Okay. Now I have one of these clear 12 by 12 drawers. It comes in like a set of three, I think. I got it from Michaels. And um, I just started uh, putting all of my letter and number dies in here. So this is one from Tim Holtz and I took it out of its fancy little package that's similar to a Close to My Heart envelope because it was driving me crazy trying to find the letters. It took forever. So all I did is I took those business card magnets and I put it on a sheet of cardstock and then I just started putting these in order, alphabet order. Cause I love these, but they are just irritating me, right? Okay, and here's a set from, um, it's not Close to My Heart, but it's very similar to this Close to My Heart one. And then this is Tim Holtz. It came with my new little um, sidekick. And then I have a few already cut out. 
And then, so the Close My Heart ones, I just store still in the, on the carrier, the carrier magnet and in the, um, in the plastic. Here's one that I've cupped together. Here's another Close My Heart one. Close My Heart. Close My Heart. Paper Roses. This one, Momenta. Bow Bunny. A lot of these I got like at Tuesday morning. This one I don't really even like. It's got funky shaped letters. And then this one is not even dies, but I really like it. Um, the outline and the letter. So put those together. Okay, so I'm going to pause and go get some layouts that I have made using dies. Okay, I'm back with some sample layouts using dies. So on this layout, I use dies to cut out uh, snowflakes out of white glitter paper. This actually is a punch, but the big one, these big ones are dies. And then right here is one of those border dies. And I also use some embossing folders. Okay, so there's that one. And then this one, I use dies to punch out a small tag and the um, reinforcer. And then here is a two page layout. And let's see, oh dear, I see my camera's showing, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> This one, I use dies to cut out all of the leaves. Um, I use a die to cut out this, kind of a subtitle. And I used a die to cut out colors. That's that um, Tim Holtz alphabet die. I just love it because it looks like an uh, a typewriter font. So, um, here's that one. And then this one, I almost didn't think I used any, but I did hear the love. And I stacked it probably about three thick to make it kind of more like a thicker. And then this one, um, I used my hexagon um, stitch dies to... Um, make some clusters. So this black one, this black one, and then this black one. So um, I think everything else are stickers and cork. This one I used uh, dies to with the brown fun foam and I did the little paw prints here and here. Um, I did the alphabet in the um, with the fun foam and then this red is actually an old Project Life card and so I punched out L-O-V-E and then put the blue behind it. I also punched out this yellow to accent this sticker and then the tags. I have three tags there. Okay and then I have one more. It's kind of like a lot of flowers but um, this is the flower die and I just kind of rolled the flowers, I use my paper piercer and I use the wooden and I just kind of roll them a little bit. There's not even, does it feel like any? No, there is a little bit of a dimensional adhesive behind the centers, but not here, but it still looks like it. And then here's that left eye again, but in pink. So used in a completely different way. It's a really versatile die. Okay. So, um, I hope that this has been informative. I think dyes are a great investment. I don't use dyes exclusively. I also have um, a Cricut maker and I do use cut files as well, but really the dyes are easier and quicker. Right now, while I don't have a real station for my Cricut, I have to kind of move some stuff to get it plugged in and it's just kind of a hassle, right? But um, 
anyway, so if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for stopping by and please be sure and check out the links to my friends down below who are playing along. All right. Bye.